students now we are discussing some most expected bits from field theory the first question is the condition for an electric field e to be a static field is so is asking uh, the fields are stationary first thing and in terms of electric field is asking there are two maxwell's equations we discussed in electrostatics the first maxwell equation is in divergence form and second maxwell equation is in curl form the first maxwell equation in divergence form is derived from gauss theorem or gauss law what is the answer that is divergence of d equals to rho v divergence of d equal to rho v from d equal to epsilon e from d equal to epsilon e the same formula the same formula i am writing in terms of electric field divergence of e is equals to rho v by epsilon divergence of e equal to rho v by epsilon so these are two maxwell's equations from gauss law the first equation is in terms of electric flux density the second equation in terms of electric field intensity and one more maxwell equation is also we derived from law of conservation of electric field from law of conservation of electric field the maxwell equation is curl e equal to 0 curl e equal to 0 again by using from d equal to epsilon e curl d is also 0 so this is maxwell equation in a divergence form from gauss law this is curl equation from law of conservation of electric field these two equations we discussed in electrostatic now read the question once again the condition for an electric field is asking only in terms of e is asking in terms of e means what divergence of e equal to rho v by epsilon and curl e equal to 0 and is asking in a static field when the fields are stationary when the fields are independent with respect to time so from these two equation divergence of e equal to rho v by epsilon and curl e equal to 0 which equation is given here see here curl e equal to 0 that means option c is correct most of the questions in fields related to maxwell's equations in electrostatics as well as magnetostatics as well as time varying fields that equation is derived from which law what is the law what is the statement what is the mathematical formulas related to obtain integral form as well as differential form so here the condition for an electric field to be a static field is curly equal to zero option c is the correct answer next question which one of the fundamental equation was modified by maxwell to form the basis of electromagnetic theory actually there are four maxwell's equations but the scientist maxwell collected four formulas four laws four equations from different laws so we know that there are four maxwell's equations in time varying electromagnetic field the first maxwell equation is divergence of d equals to rho v this equation is uh, obtained or derived from which law that is gauss law this derivation this equation obtained from which law gauss law and second equation second equation in time varying field curl e equal to minus dou b by dou t curl e equal to minus dou b by dou t actually in electrostatic curl e equal to 0 but when the fields are varying with respect to time when the fields are varying with respect to time then curl e equal to minus dou b by dou t this equation is derived from which law that is faraday's law this equation is derived from faraday's law curl e equal to minus dou b by dou t and third equation is divergence of b equals to 0 divergence of b equals to 0 
this Maxwell equation is derived from law of conservation of magnetic flux. 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 This is the <coughs> third equation. And the fourth Maxwell equation, the fourth Maxwell equation is a curl H, curl H equals to, curl H equals to J plus dou D by dou T, curl H equals to J plus dou D by dou T, this Maxwell equation is obtained from modified Ampere circuit law, modified Ampere circuit law, I am writing here modified Ampere's law. So, these are the four Maxwell's equations in time varying electromagnetic fields. Divergence of D equal to rho V which is obtained from gauss law, curl E equal to minus dou B by dou T which is obtained from Faraday's law, divergence of B equal to 0, the equation is derived from law of conservation of magnetic flux and curl H equal to J plus dou D by dou T which is derived from modified Ampere circuit law. Now, the question is out of this fundamental four equation, which equation is modified by Maxwell? Yes, the Maxwell, Maxwell scientist modified only one equation. What is that means? In Ampere's law, in Ampere's law, in magnetostatic curl H equal to J, curl H equal to J, this is the Maxwell equation in magnetostatic from Ampere's law. But Maxwell scientist modified this equation from curl H equal to J to curl H equal to J plus dou D by dou T. From curl H equal to J to curl H equal to J plus dou D by dou T. So, this is the only one equation Maxwell modified. So, our question is which equation, which fundamental equation was modified by Maxwell means answer is Ampere's law. Ampere's law equation is modified by Maxwell, hence option B is the correct answer. Now, we are discussing one more question, which are one of the following is not a Maxwell's equation for static electromagnetic fields in a linear homogeneous medium. So, what is the meaning of homogeneous medium means? Uh, this homogeneous medium, non-homogeneous medium are defined based on medium parameters. So, here you remember in a medium, if the medium parameters are not changed or if the medium parameters are constant throughout the medium, then we are saying that is a homogeneous medium. Now, here is asking which of the following is not Maxwell equation which is not Maxwell equation from the four Maxwell's e four equations. There are four equations are given, is asking out of these four, one equation is not a Maxwell equation. See here, option A is given as divergence of B equals to 0, yes, it is a Maxwell equation. Divergence of B equal to 0 is a Maxwell equation. This equation is derived from law of conservation of magnetic flux. This equation is derived from law of conservation of magnetic flux. What is the statement of this law? The net outward magnetic flux, the closed loop, closed loop surface integral of B dot dS equals to 0 means what? Actually, magnetic flux formula is phi equals to surface integral of B dot dS. Here, the mentioned statement is the closed loop surface integral of surface integral of closed loop B dot dS equal to 0. The net outward magnetic flux, the net outward magnetic flux around a closed surface is always equals to 0. This is the Maxwell equation in integral form by using divergence theorem. This is the equation divergence of B equal to 0. Hence, it is a Maxwell equation. 
So, that answer is not correct because he is asking which equation is not Maxwell equation. Coming to option B, divergence of D equal to 0. See here, actual equation from Gauss law, the Maxwell equation is divergence of D equal to rho V, divergence of D equal to rho V, but in a linear homogeneous medium, in a linear homogeneous medium, we are considering rho V equals to 0, volume charge density, free charge region, then divergence of D equal to 0. So, this is also correct Maxwell equation in a free charged region. So, it is also not correct because it is a Maxwell equation. Now, coming to option 3, <coughs> what is option 3 means? See here, closed loop line integral of B dot DL, closed loop line integral of B dot DL is equals to mu naught I. This is also Maxwell equation from Ampere circuit law. This equation is in, <coughs> excuse me, this equation is in integral form. This equation is in integral form. Actually, what is the statement Ampere circuit law? Means the line integral of magnetic field intensity, the line integral of magnetic field intensity around a closed loop the line integral of magnetic field intensity around a closed loop is always equals to the net outward current. This is the equation, but here the equation is given in terms of B only. We know that the relation between B and H, B equal to mu naught H, B equal to mu naught H, then from this equation H equal to B by mu naught. So, I am writing closed loop line integral B dot DL is equals to mu naught I. So, this equation is also a Maxwell equation in integral form from Ampere circuit law. So, option A Maxwell equation, option B Maxwell equation, option C is also Maxwell equation. Now, coming to option D, <coughs> del square A equals to mu naught J, yes this is not a Maxwell equation. What is this? This is a Poisson's equation. <coughs> Excuse me. This is a Poisson's equation. What is the equation name? It is a Poisson's equation. This equation is derived from vector magnetic potential A. There are two potentials in magnetostatic scalar magnetic potential, vector magnetic potential from curl of curl A equal to gradient of divergence of A minus del square A, we obtain this equation. This equation is not Maxwell equation. It is a Poisson's equation, Laplacian equation. So, is asking which is not Maxwell equation means option D is not Maxwell equation. Hence, option D is the correct answer. Remaining three are Maxwell's equations. Option D is it is a not Maxwell equation. Here we are discussing one more question. Point charges of minus 10 nano coulombs and 10 nano coulombs are located in free space at minus 1 comma 0 comma 0 and 1 comma 0 comma 0 respectively. Then what is the energy stored in that field is asking. So, we know that <coughs> formula V equal to W by Q, V equal to W by Q here. So, here that energy, that energy, that W I am writing as energy E. So, E equal to I am writing here V Q, E equal to V Q. So, here to find this energy, I want to find the potential due to the two point charges. Then what is the answer means here? I am considering here Q1 equal to 10 nano coulombs, Q2 equals to minus 10 nano coulombs. Q1 10 nano coulombs, Q2 minus 10 nano coulombs. And one point charge is at a minus 1 comma 0 comma 0 and one more is at 1 comma 0 comma 
0. The distance between these two point charges is r that is under root of 2 square plus 0 square plus 0 square that equal to how much? 2 only the distance. So, here I want to find the energy stored in that field that equals to I am writing here 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q 1 q 2 by r square 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q 1 q 2 by r square that equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught value everyone knows 9 into 10 power 9 q 1 is 10 nano coulombs 10 into 10 power minus 9 q 2 is minus 10 into 10 power 9 and what is the r square that is 2 r square is 2. So, here if you divide this value 10 power 9 10 power minus 9 cancel 2 phi ja 10 2 phi ja 10 then you will get answer minus 450 nano joules is the answer option C is the correct answer.